Hello everyone, today we will be simplifying factorial and this is the first part. I will put the link of the second part in the description box below. So this is definition for factorial. This is represented as um, a letter N with an um, exclamation mark. So the exclamation mark represents factorial. So factorial is defined as the product of all positive integers less than or equal to n, so whatever that n is. So let's have an example to better understand this. Um, let's take, say for example, this one right here. So let's say the first example is 6 factorial. So how do we simplify 6 factorial? So uh, when we um, simplify uh, a factorial, it says it is the product of all positive integers less than our n right here is 6. So we go ahead and say 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So we stop there because we, um, again, need all the positive um integers less than the n which is 6. So in this problem that we have here we multiply all of these and um, so that would be 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 and that is 720. So this is um, 6 factorial. Now I will show you um, um, a way on how to use this on the calculator that we have. Um, I put the link of this calculator into the uh, into Google Classroom, so feel free to uh, use them. So how do we do that? First, we're gonna put the six, so uh, on the main uh, menu, you're gonna hit six, and then after that, you go to function, and then hit the exclamation mark, and that is 720, and so that matches up to our um, answer right here, 6 factorial is 720. Now, if you have this um, kind of scientific calculator over here, so we go ahead and hit 6, and then we go to probability, then we go to the factorial, so 6 factorial equals 720. Or the other way to do this is just to multiply all the numbers that are um, less than the value of n, which is a 6 here. So you go 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Now let's have another example here. So let's say, for example, um, we get a 2 factorial plus 3 factorial. So how do we simplify this? So it's pretty much the same thing. We, we, we simplify the 2 first. So that would be 2 times 1 plus, and then we got 3. So I start on 3 times 2 times 1, and so from here we can simplify this to be 2, 2 times 1 is 2 plus 3 times 2 times 1 is 6, so the answer to this is 8, okay? Now I would like you to um, try to do the third one um, right here, so let's say the third one here is 5 factorial minus 2 factorial. So I would want you to pause this video and try this problem your own and when you're done and pause it and check your answer. Okay, let's go over this. So we have 5 factorial would be 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 and then that's minus 2 factorial is 2 times 1. So then if we simplify this, that would be 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is 120. And then that's minus 2 times 1 is 2. So then the answer is 118. So this is uh, 5 factorial minus 2 factorial. Now I'd like you to try this one out again on your own. So suppose we have um, 3 factorial times 2 factorial. Okay. I'll give you um, time to uh, do this uh, problem on your own and then just pause the video and then pause it when you are done with your work to check your answer. Okay, so how do we um, simplify this? So this would be 3 times, oops, it's 3 times 2 times 1 times 3, uh, that's going to be 2 times 1. So this would come out, um, 3 times 2 is, 3 times 2 is 1 is 6, 
times, um, that's going to be 2 times 1 is 2, so 6 times 2 is 12. So the answer for this is 12. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Now let's have another set of examples. So let's have division now. So this is problem number um, 5. So I'm going to label this as problem number 5 here. So let's say, for example, this is um, the problem. So that is 6 factorial divided by 2 factorial. So how do we simplify this? So first, we're going to write the um, the 6 factorial, factorial here first. So that's 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 2 times 1. So from here we can actually cross out the 2 and 1 here and the 2 and 1 here. So if we do the math, that's 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 is 360. So this is 360. Okay, now let's have another example here. So let's have the sixth one. So this is number 6. So I go ahead and write, what is 25 factorial over 20 Pictorial. So let's see what this is. First, we're going to write, so I will give you a, 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 a trick on how to do this without having to write from 25 all the way to 1. Now I want you to look at the 20 factorial here. So when we write the 25 factorial, we stop on 20. So that's going to be 25 times 24 times 23 times 22 times 21 times 20, and then we just go ahead and say factorial after that. That means there's still a lot of numbers all the way to 1, but we don't need to write that. It's gonna, that's going to take us a long time because we can, we're just canceling them out just like what we did over here. So 2 and 1 were canceled out. So uh, once we get this 2 here, here, so then we, we can go ahead and just, once we get the 20, we can go ahead and write the factorial there so that if we divide this with 20 factorial, we can go ahead and cross this two out and so this is the answer for this um, problem so this is gonna be so if we do the math on this this would be six million three hundred seventy five thousand six hundred so this is our uh, simplified version of this uh, factorial okay now I would um, let's have a problem number, let's say number seven right here so 5 factorial, 7 factorial over 4 factorial. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem on your own. And when you're done, unpause it and check your answer. Okay, so how do we simplify this? So first, we write the 5 factorial. So that would be 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, and then we go ahead and do the 7, but then we stop on 4 factorial. So instead of writing all the way to 1, so I can go ahead and say 7 times um, 6 times 5 times 4 factorial over 4 factorial. So then from here, I can cross out the 4 factorial and 4 factorial. You can also do it over here. You can write the 4 factorial here, and so, but then you have to do all the 7. So, um, this would, so we, we're going to multiply all the left over here. So, you should be able to come up with an answer of 25,200. Did you get the same answer as this one right here? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!